Wow, it seems like Apple is not stopping anytime soon. Today they release iOS 12.2 Beta 1 to register developers. This is right in the heels of the official release of 12.1.3, which was released a few days back. Now they're back at it again, and there's actually a few changes, enhancements to the software that I wanted to share with you guys. Some minor tweakings to the software that I think are rather important and actually better, so I wanted to share this with you guys. Now the software, if you're coming from iOS 12.1.3 Beta 4 to iOS 12.2 Beta 1, it's gonna be approximately 700 megabytes, give or take. And these are gonna be all UI enhancements minor UI enhancements and of course bug fixes so let's get right to the software so first up I want to show you here the screen mirroring options right here you see iOS 12.2 beta 1 versus iOS 12.1.3 official release you see here that the screen mirroring icon is definitely different it looks a lot better in my opinion on the new version 12.2 also if we take a look here at the Apple TV UI let's go ahead and take a look here at the Apple TV UI there we go you see now that it is a full screen remote control for your Apple TV unlike before again previous version here it's a smaller version of the controller right here is just the entire screen that's been taking up with the controls and the new UI at the bottom as well as well as a different naming scheme choose an Apple TV this one says choose a TV and you see there that the Apple TV in the living room pops up I can select that and start using the remote I really like this a uh, whole entire screen UI better than the one on the previous version of iOS 12 another change with 12.2 is within the wallet application now we have a different UI sort of a dark theme to it if we take a look here at the top right the plus button here here is now dark black instead of blue and if we tap into the card itself we have darker elements within there as well so add money is now in a darker shade black color and the recent transactions and just overall the elements have sort of like a dark theme black theme to them and I like it a whole lot better and there's additional options there as you see recent transactions and things like that so minor UI changes in wallet as well there's also some changes within maps if we take a look here at maps you see that this element here with the weather now has the air quality so you can now have air quality be displayed inside of maps and that's an option you can turn on or off right here in the settings so you have air quality index and weather conditions within maps that you can turn on or off before we didn't really have those options available as you see here on previous version of iOS but it's nice to see that we now have the ability to enable or disable these uh, options for maps on some other changes inside of settings in general and about we'll find the new build number of course for 12.2 is going to be 16 e 5181 f a longer build number of course we can anticipate at least three maybe four betas for this software and one thing in particular here that has been updated again is the modem firmware number this controls the lte the wi-fi connectivity and all that so apple continues to work on this issue although i've seen improvements myself as i talked about before it's great to see that apple continues to improve on the connectivity issues that a lot of people have been reporting in regards to cellular and wi-fi connectivity with the new 2018 iphones 10 s 10s max and 10r but anyway guys i'll have a follow-up video for you guys in regards to battery performance and any additional features and changes that i come across within the next 24 to 48 hours thank you so much for watching today's video and i'll see you guys on the next one peace